Afternoon guys, back at the Pirelli today for the visit of Charlton Athletic. He's not confident at all, but I'm buzzing, so... Yeah, you've got, you're confident for it. I'm not so sure. Um, Derby game, I mean two shots, two on target and two goals, really. Uh, great to see Hugo's goal, that was quality that was the other night, brilliant. Uh, and even to be fair, Cogget credit Seddon as well. Seddon with a goal and assist on Monday night. So, just a shame to lose out in the end. Yeah, they but, got lucky, very lucky. Starting so, line up strong. Well, I think it's strong. Yeah, after the starting line up. getting ripped a new one. No, that's, that's not necessarily yeah. what I said. The words in the car were Charlie, uh, no, Alfie May. And then uh, they won score goals. Let's get our predictions in then for today. I'm going to go for a, a hopeful... 2-1. Jack says 2-1. I'm going to get one all again, like I did against Dorby. And then I, that didn't come off, did it? No, so, no. That Dorby was a different kind of game than what we expected anyway, so. Yeah. And I think we did alright. I genuinely think we'll beat you today. If it will win today. We'll right, we'll get in the ground. Hey, Daniel, in the Pirelli right. Stadium. Predictions for today, mate. Two one, two one Brewers. Exactly what I said. Elliot knows his ball. Hugh Gill to score. Hugh Gill to score. Oh, there we go. Got this today. That's what he said. If they play, if they play as terribly as they did in December, it's an easy win for us. So hopefully yeah. we'll keep seeing improvement and two one Brewers. Exactly, exactly that.
Guys, back in the car after Burton Albion 2, Charlton 0. Come on. Huge three points. I would go as far as say six points, especially when you look at the table. Yeah, that Charlton was, uh, being down there as well. That was a big three points today, that was. And uh, yeah, I thought they played all right. They did, they played well. Yeah. This joint, a nice, it wasn't disjointed. You know, it was so much less negative as well. Mm. A lot less, oh, I mean, don't get me wrong, Caprice still needs to get out of the habit of making a run from the centre to the right the right wing back position, picking the ball up and then going back. If you're going to make that run, you've got to go forward. Towards the end of the second half though, it did make one run forward and it went out for a corner. Yeah, it did, but if, it that's, if, if that's a nil-nil game and you're on top and you've picked the ball up there, you've got to go forward. Yeah. You can't just, you can't turn around and go back. That's my one nick of the one The one negative today. for today. Yeah. I think, so we'll start from the beginning. First off, Charlton should have had a penalty. It was right in front of us. Yeah, definitely. It was. It was definitely a penalty. Yeah. Like, no doubt about that. The referee waved it away, so we definitely got away with one there. Um, Mark Helm scored an absolute belter. Great finish. Uh, great runs. What Hugo winning it that was. header? Yeah. Your our centre forward beating their centre one of their biggest centre backs yeah. to a header is outrageous. Like, yeah. Fair play to him. It looks all right. Hugo does. It does yeah. look good. So yeah, one 0 half time. Thought it looked all right, quite tight in the defensive like third, but when they then, then attack, they spread out now. You can see a change in what obviously Patterson's trying to do here, which is good. It's his first home game 
as manager. Has Obviously, got a good reception. Good reception from the fans. Second half um, was steady. I think Charlton had one where they hit the bar towards the end. A lot of balls into the box that were cleared. There wasn't too many dangers. Not too times. many dangerous Second chances. Off. It was all balls going down the left. Yeah. Our right, our right. It was our right. Balls just going down the left and left and left. Ball got into the box. It was cleared straight away. It couldn't beat the yeah. first man. So I had to say, first off, Matt's Crokin does make two cracking stops in the first half as well. To deny that. They were, they were superb, great so. saves. Um, but yeah, back to second half, you know, Brayford gets on the score sheet. Patterson clearly appreciating the, the fans at the end. I, I just want to um, say though, they should have had a red card at the end. I don't think it was a red. I think it was. It was a very forceful challenge no, by Alfie no, but I don't no, think no, it was the a red. the ball's rolling away from him and he's gone sliding in with both his foot showing his studs. I don't know, it was more of a scissor challenge, I don't think it was a red. He's gone through his legs and the ball's rolling away. How mm. could it not be a red? I'd have to see it again, I don't think it was a There's red. There's no intention Jack of going for the ball because the ball's miles away. He's come in and he's just scissor kicked through his legs. He's just coming with his studs and bang, that's it, he's gone. Uh, I'm not so sure, but anyway, he gets booked for it. The game's pretty much done then, I and mean, there was a good little bit of play in the corner where the lads kept holding the ball for a little bit, weren't there? Um, yeah, they did well there. But yeah, overall, we're coming away quite pleased today. Another three points on the board. Rumours of foreign investment being about, maybe, come to see Burton. That would be mint. Don't know about that, don't a know what's, uh, go a long way. what's surfaced there. If you like our content, give us a like. We smashed the subscriber goal on YouTube. We, I mean, what? It was 100 mm -hmm. by the end of the season when we sat at how many are we? 150? 155 when I looked earlier on. So I think we could set a goal of 170. What, by the end of the season? 175 by the end of the season, yeah. I think that should be the goal. Okay. I think we could push for that, 20 more. So if you want to give us a hand with that one, we really appreciate it. Um, also, we're on TikTok. So Big Stevenson vlogs on TikTok and Jack and Sleeve vlogs on X slash Twitter. So if you fancy giving us a follow on there as well, we really appreciate it. We're trying to get to 800 followers on uh, TikTok and trying to go live on there so we can uh, stream more content, things like that. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you in two weeks' time. Because unfortunately we're not at Cambridge. We have a special event, don't we, on the Saturday? We do next Saturday. Mm -hmm. but so as always, Thanks for watching and we'll see you in two weeks.